Well, hey, everybody, welcome to week seven of our virtual uh, online Sunday school here at Cornerstone Faith Community Church. Uh, Pastor Jeremy here with you, and I'm very excited to talk to you a little bit about uh, what happens in the book of Exodus, chapter 16 this week. The book of Exodus is the second book in the Bible, so Genesis and then Exodus. It's the second book in the Bible, and in chapter 16, we hear about how God has provided for his people. He's provided food. <clears throat> he provides two very interesting kinds of food. He provides manna, which is a sort of bread. It's a kind of bread. It's a little bit like a flat bread. If you've ever heard somebody talk about flat bread or almost like a pizza crust. And then he provides a bird called quail. Uh, which is kind of like chicken, like a really small chicken. Um, so why does God have to provide food for the people? Well, the people of God are called Israelites because the land that God had given to them, after he led them through this really, really, really long walk through the desert, the land that he gave them was called Israel. So we call these people Israelites. Now, Israel means God fought for them. Meaning that uh, in the Hebrew language, this was their way of remembering that God had brought them here. God had made it possible for the Israelites to come and live in this new land called Israel. What's interesting about this, though, is that that name, God fought for them, God gave it to them to remind them that he loved them so much. He wanted them to remember all the time that he loved them so much that he fought for them. Well, unfortunately, one of the things that Israel does <coughs> absolutely best, one of the things that Israel does absolutely best is to complain. They complain about everything. They grumble and they moan. And they say, you know what? This walking through the desert is really terrible. We don't like this at all. It would have been so much better if we had just stayed in that place we lived before called Egypt. And we would have continued to serve that really mean king called Pharaoh. But one day, while they are walking in the desert, the Israelites come up to Moses and they say, Hey Moses, we are hungry. There's nothing for us to eat here. We need food. We're going to starve to death. Well, God loved his people. Remember, we said that God loves his people. And so he's going to provide food for them. God told Moses these words in chapter 16. He said, I will cause food to fall like rain from the sky. Like rain from the sky. Food is going to fall down for them. This food will be for all of you, he says, every day. You will go out and you will gather what you need for that day. But don't be greedy. Only take what you need for that day. And the next day, I'll give you more food in the same way. Well, that's just what happened. God miraculously made this bread appear for them called manna. And then he miraculously made these birds appear called, called quail. And, and that word manna, it actually means God's gift because this was God's gift of food given to the Israelites. So what's really awesome about this is, is God always provides exactly what we need exactly when we need it. There's no need to complain. There's no need to groan. Just ask God to give you what you need and as long as it's something that's good for you he will give it to you he'll make sure that you have all that you need i hope you guys have a great week and uh don't forget manna and quail bread and meat god gives us everything we need